Good to see you here, Detective. You're an experienced investigator, so I entrust you with this tricky case. For a few reasons, we need to look into the matter as quietly as possible. First of all, the murderer had been on the train with the other passengers from the very beginning. If the media gets their hands on it, the news of this incident will severely tarnish the reputation of the railway company. Second of all, the victim was a famous city attorney, Richard Erickson. His death will be all over the media. If this happens, there will be no way we can avoid undue attention or outside meddling. I guess we're on the same page here, aren't we? As you could have guessed already, this train only made two stops. We checked and all of the passengers were on the train from the very start. The murder happened this night after the train stopped. We already requested the passenger list. The company says that they will do it as fast as possible. Looking at our previous case, you often didn't follow proper protocol. Even if you have successfully closed difficult cases by relying on your gut before, your approach isn't very professional. Huh. You remind me of myself when I was still a young man. Well, as long as criminals are being put behind bars, I can't complain. Here, have this badge. I heard that railway workers use it to open queue doors. I have to go. See you at the bureau. I hope I have some more information by the time you get back. Oh, Detective, nice to see you. Have you had a word with our boss already? He's definitely not in the best of moods, isn't he? Uh, anyway, I'm glad you were assigned to this case. I can rest assured we will solve it in a matter of days. Well, feel free to check the crime scene. Wait, please take a picture of the compartment with the deceased person inside before you touch anything. I must have a photo of the scene in its pristine condition to add it to my report. I was going to do it myself, but didn't get around to it. In the meantime, I'll take care of the evidence over there. Let me know when you're done with the photos.
I'll add them to the report and send all the papers to you. Now you can search this place with a fine tooth comb. Show everybody how it must be done, detective. Well, here's what we've got. Someone fired from a 9mm handgun. Fortunately, the bullet didn't go straight through, so we won't have trouble finding the weapon. The deceased was caught off guard. Judging by the signs of struggle, he wasn't ready to give up that easily. Also, some evidence suggests that Mr. Erickson wasn't acting in the law's name down in Ash City. What is it that your gut is telling you right now, detective? Any theories about the crime? Really? Do you think it may be revenge after all? Trust your gut, detective. I'll do my best to help you catch the killer as fast as possible. No passengers were allowed to leave the train. They're all in the dining car now, waiting to be questioned. The woman who found the body is there too. Well, I better get back to work. Here, it could prove useful. Hello, Eric is a train conductor, and Louise is the woman from the neighboring compartment who found the body. She was beside herself with fear when she came asking for my help. I immediately reported this accident to the train driver and the police. That's all I have to say to you, detective. Mr. Erickson was my compartment neighbor. We kept each other company at breakfast once, so I was going to invite him that time too to celebrate the last day of our train trip. No, we first met here, on this train. 
Mr. Erickson is... was... a quite calm person, Vane. But I don't consider it to be a fault of his. He was a famous city attorney after all. He had every right to be proud of his achievements. <laughs> that man's death was the most egregious case in our company's history. I still can't believe it. And since no one has left the train, the killer is... <sighs> Please solve the mystery and find that person.
Let's look at what you found. Well, I'll send you the autopsy report once it's ready, but I bet this handgun is the murder weapon. The silencer and the noise from the train did a great job making the killing as discreet as possible. Fingerprints and ballistics will tell us more about the person who used this handgun. There is also no way the killer avoided getting some GSR on his hands or clothes. Anyway, I'll check everything back in the lab and send you the results. Hey, detective. Fill me in on everything you found out yet. Huh. I knew I could trust you with this one. Keep up the good work. We've already asked them to send us the fingerprints of train staff, but haven't got them yet. It means we have to proceed with our investigations without them. The clock is ticking. We'd better go back to work. Hmm. Well done. This is valuable information indeed. Run that Eric Moore through the database, Scott. We need to know all about the guy who left his fingerprints on the handgun. Hey, listen to this. Eric Moore went to prison for murdering his wife-to-be, but now he's out of prison on a license. Good behavior and stuff. And he used his credit card to buy a ticket to the suburbs of Brookshire 15 minutes ago. Wait, why did he head to the abandoned dock? It's obvious Eric Moore is trying to escape. You two, take a car and go there. What are you up to, Moore? Don't waste another minute. I'll send a group to find a real train conductor. God knows what Eric did to that person. Good luck, guys. Back together, detective. Well, let's catch that fake train conductor. All right, so here we are. We need to find that guy ASAP. Can you see that coastal cabin? Our records say that it is Eric Moore's property. Do you want to give that cabin a shot and search it? It may be either the place we find him or the place with the evidence we'll need to charge him. What do you say, pal? Oh, I knew it. Wait a minute, I'll get the door open. I'll search the area over here. It can't be that our killer came here just for nothing. We'll track that guy down.
Did you find anything? Hmm. I've just found the exact same pendant the girl in the photo has. It means it once belonged to Eric Moore's beloved. Give it to me now. Hands up! Don't move! Don't you think I'll give up that easily, do you, detective? Farewell, detectives! <laughs> Look at that self-taught magician. Oh, we need to follow him. I'll try to start that old motorboat without a key while you'll be looking for one. Deal? And here you have it. It may come in handy. Thank you.
go. No matter how noble your motives are, crime is never a suitable solution to any problem, Eric. Let's go. Good job. I'm proud of you, Detective. Don't you think it's time to become a DCI? I think it is. From now on, it's yours.